Hi, Teacher Mara here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rain stick or a rain maker. So you're going to need a long tube for this one. I have a wrapping paper tube here. You could also easily use a paper towel tube, uh, but a toilet paper tube is probably a little bit too short. So something a little longer. Have your little one decorate it, paint, stickers, crayons, markers, uh, you can glue on some feathers, some spangles, even tying ribbon around this one um, can be a lot of fun. Uh, so now I've also got a couple of cardboard circles that I cut out and I've glued one onto the bottom and the other side is still open, but I do have my other circle ready to go. And I just used a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use wet glue. It just will take a little bit longer to dry. You could also just take a piece of uh, cardstock or heavier paper and kind of uh, fold it over the top. You might need to snip it a little bit and tape it in place. So be creative if you need to. Now we're gonna start adding some things inside. Now, two ingredients are gonna go into our tube. First is some rice, and the other is some of these uh, foil snakes, these kind of coiled up pieces of foil. So I have six pieces here, and I'm gonna show you how I made those. So I just cut up some pieces of foil about this big, and we're gonna bunch them up into a long piece. Your little ones are welcome to help out with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's not completely tight, it works even better. And then we're gonna coil it up. We're gonna make some little snakes. So I was using two fingers and just coiling around, 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 and then take that off, give it just a little squeeze, make it just a little bit smaller. It depends on the size of your tube, but you want it to kind of fit snugly inside. So that's how you make a foil coil. And then we're gonna start putting those inside of our paper tube, our cardboard tube. So uh, start dropping those in there. And you want them to fit pretty snugly inside and get all the way right up to kind of the edge there. So we wanna avoid hearing them slide around too much inside. So keep adding your coils until they don't move around too much on the inside there. So I actually ended up using seven because I made an extra one there. So six worked fine, seven works too. It'd just be a little more snug. Okay, now we're gonna add our rice. So I've got a funnel here. Let your little ones help out with the pouring as well. I'm gonna get that into the top there. and. I used about a half a cup of rice total, uh, but this is a little bit long since it's a wrapping paper tube, so um, you may use less, you may use more. Experiment and see what it sounds like. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot glue gun to glue my top back on. We're gonna trim it up and make sure it's nice and flush with the tube and then we're gonna hear what it sounds like. Listen to that rain sound. So just gently tilt your rain stick and you may need to give it a little bit of a shake or even better is to give it a little twirl or a twist. And you can hear the rain falling. Maybe we can sing a rain song together. Rain, rain, go away, come again. Children want to play. Rain, rain, go away. And there you have your rain stick. 